to a Inuit Snobber in Hollywood. It's the Tom Micah Show. B-I-T-C-H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. Show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800. 5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. A listener sent me a message from Craigslist. We love Craigslist. I know I love it. The great thing about Craigslist, there's no what they call barrier to entry. There's no charge. Anybody can read it. Anybody can place an ad. It doesn't matter how poor or dumb they are. Anybody can get on. Anybody can play the game. And so I uh, I see this uh, little message from Best of Craigslist. <laughs> it says, um, hello. This, by the way, is from the Orange County Craigslist. Hello, my name is Joe. I am the father of an amazing 16-month-old little one, and I have a wonderful wife. She looks rather large in the photograph, by the way. Ah, yes. As life has it, she's also preg again. As life has it. They were just sitting there minding their own business, and poof! The Virgin Mary got knocked up again. Just, that's how life is. Life happens. It just happened. We had nothing to do with it. He says, I must tell you that I am 21 and she is 20. <laughs> wow, I know we are young. If anyone, then in caps, anyone could please read, please read this, period. <laughs> copy paste this link into your browser thanks so much and then it gives you a link then you go to the link and there do you know about this there is actually a website and I'd never seen this before there is a website for people who want to do fundraising of some kind I don't want to promote this website because morons like this are uh, on the website and uh, it links you to this website where people take collections. And the headline on this one, it looks like Match.com, except it's people collecting money for various causes. The headline says, my family is in need. <laughs> and then uh, you see a photograph of Joe... And the wife, she's got bigger arms than I've got, and the little baby. And here is the uh, message. It says, hello, my name is Joe. I am 21. My wife is 20. We have an adorable gift from God. We are seriously struggling beyond anything you can imagine. Well, of course you are, you ding-dong. You went and got married before you had a college education or a good job or anything like that. I mean, yes, I'm sure you're struggling. You ask for it. He says, I am not here by any means to plead a case of sad sorrows. 
I am pleading simply the truth as it stands today. I have been, and then it's in all caps and hyphenated, unhyphenemployed for a while. A while, two separate words. Period. We have been struggling on our basic essential needs as a family. No surprise there. He says, my wife, my wife, this is very rudimentary, my wife as good as it gets <laughs> is also currently seven months preg and we are going crazy. Why are you surprised about that, Junior? We have been struggling on rent and basic, he spells basic, B-A-I-S-C, and basic util. I guess he means utilities. What makes the situation worse is we cannot even afford to put food in our bellies. My poor angel, period. I cannot even as a father afford diapers or a simple case of formula or a container for that matter. A container of what? I just ask anything. I don't care for my health as of today. I am, in fact, more upset that I cannot help my family as a father, all caps, and as a husband, all caps, and then no comma, period, or capitalization. Please help us. <laughs> At the top, it says the family has a $2,000 goal. And then under it says it has the amount secured so far, zero dollars, zero cents. And then it has a way to make pledges by PayPal or credit card. And you, uh, you kind of, there's a window you click on. You can put the amount in that you want to contribute. Then at the bottom it says added benefits for contributors. I would love to exchange, exchange is misspelled, for babysitting or cook and clean your house. Anything, transportation for you or anyone. There you go. Now, as I read this, and you can only imagine what I think about this, but first of all, Joe, <laughs> why'd you get married so young? Did you not grow up first and then get married? Is that what happened? Why'd you not grow up a second? Day? Well, you know, as life would have it. Oh, my goodness, we're pregnant again. Look at that. I mean, what are you talking about here? You go out, you do something really stupid, get married. Do something else stupid, have a baby before you can afford it. Do something else stupid, knock her up again. And now you're begging people for money. Because your poor angel can't afford to eat. Whose fault is it that your poor angel can't afford to eat? Whose fault is that, Joe? It's your fault. Why should anybody give you money? Anybody. Could it be you're unemployed because you're not educated? Perhaps before you got married to a fatty and started having babies, perhaps what you should have done is completed your education, gotten some skills, maybe perfected your English. And then perhaps what you could have done after that would be to go out and get a really good job and then maybe work for a while, get promoted, put a few bucks away. And then after you did that... <laughs> Maybe if you insist on getting married and having kids, maybe you do it then. But you did everything backwards, Joe. And so I want to know why it is that people should bail you out. My question for our listener is this. Do you feel sorry for this guy? Do you feel sorry for this guy? Or not? There you are, kissing some 60-year-old guy. How disgusting, you slut. Oh, I'm not a slut, but thank you. The Tom Likas Show. Tom, 
coming in. Diana, hello. 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 Are you busy? I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi. <laughs> I'm just calling because uh, I listened to that letter that you read, and I am livid. I can't believe a moron would actually post that. And I find it extremely upsetting because, um, you know, I'm a first-generation Mexican-American. My parents are Mexican immigrants, work their butts off, never ask anything for anyone, could not eat nothing but beans for dinner for years, and they worked their way up. My father is a multimillionaire now, started his own company, and didn't need the help of anybody to get them by. And I see cases like this all the time. And, um, you know, it's something that's discussed between my friends and myself. I, I just I believe it. Well, I, um, I'm just amazed that they think that anybody gives a rat's ass about them. And why would anyone? You, you know what, Tom? I, I'm, I didn't listen to you when I was younger. I got married very young. I got married at 21. And um, I worked my butt off. I spent two hours in traffic every day. I worked full time. I was making 50 grand by the time I was 26. You know what? And nobody really helped me. I worked my butt off to get through school. I did the things, you know, the way that we're supposed to. Took my, was patient in my work, got promoted. I have a good job. I don't ask for handouts from anybody. And somebody thinks that I'm going to give my hard-earned cash to you because you can't get a job. Well, you know what? Go sell flowers on the, on the corner or go sell the oranges like all of my, you know, my, my countrymen do. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay. I love you, Tom. Oh, and by the way, I know this is off the subject, but I have to thank you because uh, thanks to you, I stopped smoking. Um, you went on a couple of weeks ago about how idiotic and stupid people are that smoke, and I, I really took your advice to heart, and I have to thank you for that. Very nice. Good thank work. You, thank you, Diana. Here you Throw go, baby. 1-800-795-9565. Is our telephone number Don on the Tom Like His Show? Hello. Hey, Tom. First of all, I love you. I'm from Philadelphia, and I moved to L.A. about four years ago, mainly because 90% of the people I know are exactly what you described. Woe is me. I have four kids, and I make minimum, minimum wage. I'm filing bankruptcy. I, I didn't know any different. And all I knew as a child was my mom worked hard, and I went to college and got a good degree, and I'm making well into the 200s, and I don't need anybody. I just, I cannot believe that. I that. say just let these people, because you know what I think these people are, and I say let them swirl around and float right down the bowl, baby. That's it. I, I so agree with you. It just makes me so angry. Oh, I need to quit my job so we can make enough, so that we can go on uh, WIC or... I, I need uh, whatever that public assistance is. I don't even know what the name of it is. Um, but I, I, I just I can't even believe you read it. I worked way too hard to hear stories like that. Well, the listener who sent it in was no more uh, pleased about it than I am. And oh. I'm just amazed that there, this is somebody in Orange County, by the way. Oh. It's like, I tell you what, what are you doing living in Orange County? Let's start with that. Yep, yep. Maybe it's time to find a cheaper place to live. Get two jobs, get three jobs, get four jobs. Just do it. Shut up. I don't want to hear about it. Just go do it. And I agree with you. That's it. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Don. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Nima. Nima on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom Likas. Yes, sir. Damn pleasure to be talking to you, sir. As well it should be. Before I start, I just want to say thank you, uh... If, if, if I didn't start listening to your show, I could possibly have ended up in a situation like the moron we're talking about. Um, it's it's uh, it's ridiculous for this guy to think he deserves any help from anyone. I mean, it's one thing if someone else screwed him over, but he screwed his own life up, and uh, so he doesn't deserve any help. It's uh, hopefully through evolution, uh, people this stupid will cease to exist. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> but I don't think they will. I think we're going to have more of them, not less. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Ronald on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, how are you doing so far? Do you care, Ronald? I do, actually. I'm doing great. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, basically, I just want to say that uh, you have a great show. I've been listening to you for about a month or so. And uh, ever since, you know, I'm just hooked on it. It's a great show. And uh, the, the things you say just make sense. They Thank make you. Sense. I think Ronald lost his next cue card, and he's thinking about what he's going to say next. Hello? Yes. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm um, actually on the freeway right now. Uh, so is everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just wanted to say that uh, uh, that I don't feel sorry for the guy. Um, this is just one of those guys that feel lazy and that that I think that uh, they just don't want to work hard and get you know, a good, stable job and uh, get a good life by hard work and dedication. Well, they do everything backwards. First, they get they knock up the girlfriend. Then they get married. Then they knock up the wife. Then they're like, well, I can't believe I can't afford to support my family. Exactly. I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Uh, for sure. That's. It's just one of those guys, Tom. You know? That's right. That's right, Ronald. All right, you better keep your eyes on the road there. I think this is going to take years if we keep going. Terry on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Terry. Um, I am uh, I'm sick to my stomach. This guy is uh, a couple of things. First of all, he obviously has the Internet. And that's it. He's 20 bucks a month. So he's paying for the Internet. But he's not putting food in his kid's mouth, which is sick. Um and second of all, the pretty much what he's doing is, because we have nowadays, he's holding up a sign that says, my family's hungry on the side of the freeway, you know, and we'll beg for food. That's what he's doing. He's doing it on the Internet now, because we have the Internet worldwide, and it's just, it's sickening. And I think you'll probably get a lot of calls from women who are maybe single moms. I know you don't, you don't like single moms, but... Single moms that do struggle and, and, and go to work don't go on welfare. And then you have this guy who is, he's, he's a man of his house, has a woman. She's an idiot. I, I can't even imagine a woman looking at her man who is begging people for money and she lays down with him at night and, and respects this man. It's I think, I think what he ought to do, he ought to go to the nearest freeway entrance with a sign that says, Why lie? I'm a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And, I mean, that's what he's doing. He's holding up a sign saying, I'm a bum, I want some money, I don't want to work. But but obviously he's spending money on the Internet. You know, and what's a woman doing? Looking at him thinking, yeah, go, honey, get that money for us for free. We we shouldn't work. And people have this mentality where they just think they should get things for free. And it's just, you know, you're in America. I understand it's a lot easier to have the girl that called that was uh, Mexican-American. She Her family struggled to make it. That's what people are. You still have to struggle. You still have to work. You have to work hard to get things in life, and you just want it for free. It's just I'm sickened by him. I'm sick. I totally <laughs> and I hope Nobody gives this guy money. Oh, you me know, too. Nobody. Uh, or you know, investigate him. Go look at him. He's obviously not taking care of his family. It's it's sickening to me. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, if you're just tuning in, we were pointed to uh, a listing on Craigslist where somebody linked to the following message on a website that's designed for people to collect money for various causes. And here is what it says. The headline, just like Match.com has a headline at the top when people are looking for a date. The headline here says, my family is in need. And it says, hello, my name is Joe, and I am 21. My wife is 20. We have an adorable gift from God. It's pictured there. The kid. We are seriously, brains were not the gift, apparently. It was a kid. 
We are seriously struggling beyond anything you can imagine. I am not here by any means to plead a case of sad sorrows. I am pleading simply the truth as it stands today. I have been unemployed for a while. We have been struggling on our basic essential needs as a family. My wife is as good as it gets. Is She also uh, is seven months pregnant and we are going crazy. We have been struggling on rent and basic utilities. What makes the situation worse is we cannot even afford to put food in our bellies. My poor angel, I cannot even as a father afford diapers or a simple case of formula or a container for that matter. I just ask anything. I don't care for my health as of today. I am in fact more upset that I cannot help my family as a father and a husband. Please help us. You're kidding me, right? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Logan on the Tom Lika show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great, Logan. Uh, I just want to say this guy. This guy can't spell for crap, but he can spell the word money. That's like that's his word, man. And I think this whole thing is, you know, it's bull. He, uh, yeah, he had obviously he has the internet. He has to pay for that. And uh, obviously, you know, the woman is is. You know, dumb for staying with this guy. Know what I mean? Well, Tom? she's a chunka chunka, so you can see why she's going to hang in there. Well, that's true. Maybe she's hoping that he's going to get a like a success story out of this. Maybe this is going to go from like rags to riches, but it's looking more like rags to rags to me. <laughs> wow! Yeah, wow! Wow! Yeah. It's uh I think I think this is one of those uh fake advertisements where the guy just doesn't want to work and he's got he's got money he just doesn't want to you know spend it he Well even if, even if it's real I mean who cares Do you, would you feel sorry for somebody like this No not at all if it, if if like I knew the person and it was a it was a legit thing and it, you know he was really struggling and he was trying then I would feel bad for him maybe I'd help him out but this guy isn't even trying. He's just putting up ads on the Internet. Oh, help me, help me, please. And not even, you know, going for it. There are plenty of jobs that even people without high school diplomas, which I would imagine this guy doesn't have, you know, could get. He could, someone's, you know, he could work at McDonald's. I don't think you need a, like a high school diploma for that. You could do plenty of other jobs, you know, get paid under the table. By the way, it says here he has a $2,000 goal, $2,000. Wow. And it says that so far he's collected zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. I love it. Uh, can you blow me up, Tom? Yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Brittany on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. I just wanted to make a comment about the guy who wrote in and did the Craigslist ad or whatever he did. Yes. I think he's an idiot. And because I'm a 19 year old college student and I pay my way to school, I work. I have three jobs. I pay my rent, which is nine fifty a month, to rent a room out somewhere. If he can't, if I can do it, why can't he? Right. He's an idiot for bringing another child into the world. And by With the no way, no money, no job, no benefits. How is he going to have the child? Who, who's going to pay for that? Well, he already brought one in. Now he's bringing another one in. Exactly. Why would you put another child through that? Children don't ask to be here. She, he shouldn't even. Why is he even having sex? He needs to be out looking for a job. Well, how about you have sex with a condom? How about your <laughs> wife? How about your wife stick a cork in it or something? <laughs> and didn't she say his wife was fairly large? Oh yeah, yeah. She got bigger arms than I've got. That's disgusting. They don't need to be having sex at all, especially not bringing other fat children in the world. Yes. That's rude, but I'm sorry. I have a phobia type thing. <laughs> sorry. I understand. Yeah, but I just want to say that he's an idiot, and if I can get three jobs, why can't he get one? He's a grown man. I agree. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. It was nice talking to you. Brittany, thank you. Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Nick. Yo, Tom, what's up, bro? Not much, Nick. How are you doing, man? Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. I was listening to what you're saying about this stuff and everything, and you know what? I got to say, the guy is an idiot. He's a jackass because he didn't get go to, I'm sorry, I'm cussing, but he, for not going to school and getting a good education, but he's no better than the guys that are standing on the freeway, but he did do one thing better. He's using the Internet. See, at a freeway overpass, 
there's about maybe, oh, 500, 600 cars a day that go by there. Those people make, I don't know how much money, but they make money. But in the Internet, there's billions and billions and billions of people. So he's going to sucker in at least two or three of them. To get by the way, money. I do have some advice for him, okay? The president of Nigeria needs to get $173 million out of the country. And if he would just send uh, $50,000 uh, to pay the closing costs and the fees and everything, uh, he will get uh, 10% of that fortune. That's all he has to do. I got that email today. Maybe he ought to look into that. All right, Nick, you think about that. Tom Likas. Really? 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. <laughs> If it feels good, do it. That's my motto. Ah, uh, that's everybody's motto. Just about to listen to this show, Gabriel. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. And the email continues to come in. Lisa writes and it says, Tom, how stupid is this guy? I guess he hasn't heard of welfare. Which sounds like he is more qualified because he has a baby with another on the way. And I'll bet his wife hasn't even gotten prenatal care. All he has to do is show up with IDs. The wife, the baby, welfare will set him up because of the babies. He can also go to the food bank to get the extra food he needs. Just have his IDs and his utility bill that he's barely making payments with, with a valid address. Okay, very nice. Yes, the emails continue to come in. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. Now, this Joe character, it pisses me off that they dig themselves into a hole, both of them, and want everybody else to help bail them out. Now, these two rocket scientists have had one quote-unquote angel and another one on the way, and they're dumb enough to put it for the whole world to see. I mean, literally the whole world to see. Now, I think this should be a case to where DSS should, DSS should, uh, should step in because they're announcing we can't take care of the kid that we got, so therefore we can't take care of the one that's on the way. And if the mom is a chubby chubby, like you're saying, maybe she needs to take the chicken bone out of her mouth and let the little bambino have a little nibble every now and again. And I don't know. <laughs> I, I know. I don't know what people are thinking because Tom, you have list thousands of listeners who work two jobs, three working job households, digging ditches, doing whatever they got to do to get by, and don't ask for nothing from nobody, from college students to married people at 38 like myself. Well, who does this guy think he is that he can sit on his butt at home eating bonbons and watching Jerry Springer, expecting everybody else to pay his free his ride? And what what is two thousand dollars going to pay for? Exactly. When, when when you talk about hospital bills, one kid and another one on the way, what is it? Canadian money? What's two thousand dollars going to pay for? Hey, by the way, don't laugh. Uh, the Canadian dollar is now worth more than the U.S. dollar. How sad is that? <laughs> That's how far we've fallen. <laughs> you know, it, it just it, it just really it pisses pisses me off and irritates me that you have people like this who want everybody else to pay for them because they screwed up, they ruined their life, so somebody else bail me out. And for $2,000, what is $2,000 going to pay for? Nothing. That's not even, in some cases, if he lives in, what did you say, Orange County, California? Right. $2,000 $2, is barely a month's worth of rent, and that's if he's living in a two-bedroom apartment down there. Yeah, uh, let me tell you, that's, uh, in fact, 2000 probably wouldn't pay a month's rent. It, it, yeah. Yeah. And so I, I don't get it. People like this piss me off. Just want to voice my opinion because I'm really frustrated when I hear about stuff like this. <laughs> thank you for letting me speak my piece, Tom. Jim, thank you. Sal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Sal. Uh, man, I have to comment on this dude because I was in a situation similar, and I dug myself out. I'm, I'm now 24. I was 18 when I knocked my girl up. I mean, I listen to you, but... I don't. Really, I didn't really listen to you when I was a young teenager. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I 
I knocked her up. I got her pregnant. And I laid my cards down on the table. And I said, you know what? I live in L.A. I said, you know what? You're not going to afford it here. Get out of L.A. So I moved out to the Inland Empire. Cheaper place to live. Smart move. Went to school. I never asked for a penny from anybody. I'm now 24, $100,000 job a year. I mean, I'm good. My wife's a registered nurse. We never asked for This is what pisses me off about people. You know what I mean? Well, I understand that, and uh, I don't understand why people get so... Uh... First of all, they make stupid decisions in their lives. That That's beyond understanding, okay? That's but, what I did. I understand that. But then they go ahead and they expect the rest of us to, to pay. That's what I don't That's what pisses me off. That I, I went through the struggle of, like my like my country girl said earlier, because I'm Mexican-American, I went through the struggle of eating beans and water. And to hear somebody asking for money, that. That outrages me, Tom. <laughs> you know what I mean? That outrages me because, I mean, I, I never asked for a penny. I worked myself out of it, got me two jobs, went to school, and handled my business. I mean, this is what makes me mad. People that post themselves on the Internet, plus he's paying $20 a month for the Internet. That's the cheapest he could get probably. So wh why doesn't he cut the Internet and buy a, a bottle of milk with that? <laughs> well, of course, uh, maybe he went to the library and used the Internet for free. I don't know. Yeah, but no, I don't know. That's it, Tommy. I'm just a little outraged right now. <laughs> well, I was outraged the first time I saw this. <laughs> I understand, man, but oh, my God. I was, I'm driving down the 10 freeway mad. I mean, I'm mad. I'm like, dude, come on. Like, work yourself out of this. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> if you're mad enough to stick your thing in something, be mad enough to, you know, man up. <laughs> man up, baby. That's right. Man up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Jason. How's it going? Great. Basically, basically, I got some opinions, too. I'm a police officer in, in Orange County, and I deal with these transients all the time. You know what? And, you know, these guys, it's kind of our own problem as a society because, you know what? You feed the pigeons, more pigeons are going to come. You know, these guys standing on the side of the uh, street, you know, oh, yeah. not only causing a traffic hazard because they might get ran over. You know what? We're sitting there giving them money. I see it all day long. People stopping, giving them money. So what are they going to do? They're going to tell their other buddies, hey, stand here. You don't have to work. We'll give you free money. As far as this guy with the uh, Internet, I think, how do we even know it's it's a... It's true. Well, it's you never know on the Internet, uh, but all you can do is assume it's true and then comment on the uh, the merits of whatever it is he's proposing. Yeah, you're tr that's true. I mean, but, even if it's true, I mean, who feels sorry for somebody like that? Yeah, I, it's the same people that feel sorry for these people standing on the side of the road. By the way, I haven't heard from one person yet who said, oh, give them a break. Oh, you know, they're young. They make mistakes. Everybody who's called in says they don't feel sorry for these two. Oh, you, you, absolutely. And I don't feel sorry for any of them. You know, we all go to work. We all have morals. We can all provide for our families. I feel sorry for the child who was born to two idiots. That's who I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for a lot of kids in this city or in the uh, in the country. Yeah. Anyway, Tom, thank you very much. I'll see you later. Thank you. Appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This just in. Apparently a number of you have found <laughs> this guy and have been writing him. I'm not making this up. His, uh, <laughs> his new message with the same photograph says, sorry, people. That's the headline. And then he writes, I have been getting some horrible comments on this, and that was not my intentions, with an S. I am in some need, that's all, but it seems I will not be getting that anytime soon. Thank you all. By the way, he lowered his goal to $200 from $2,000, and it says here he's received $0.00. And zero cents. So even though I didn't even give out the name of the website, some of you found it. And now it's uh, now he's changed the name of his site to Sorry People. So keep it up, boys. Everybody writing to this guy, let him know what you think. <laughs> Jess on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing great, Jess. 
Tom, I just got into my car out of work, a job that I hate, but I'm doing it because I have to. I was just telling them that I'm 25 years old. You know, I'm still going to school for the fact that I have to take care of my family. I mean, for my mom, you know, because it's just her, my sister, and me. And it sucks. You know, it's like I'm going to school. I'm only going to school part-time because I can't afford it. And this guy, who is he to just be asking for money when I'm working so hard trying to do everything, not trying to get money from everyone, and he's just asking for this. I mean, that guy's pathetic. I mean, me as a woman, a minority, I'm doing it on my own. Why can't he? Well, and I think uh, now you can see that people have been that people have found this guy when I mentioned he was on Craigslist, and they've been writing to him and telling him things like like what you just said. It's it's really pathetic, Tom. It really, really is. It upsets me at the fact that I try to get some financial aid because I mean, you know what? I think about it, and I'm working hard for my grades. I have a three point oh. I pay my taxes. I figure I would deserve some money from Uncle Sam, money that I'm paying. But yet, no. And then I bet you he's going to go on welfare. I'm going to have to pay for it, too. It's it's ridiculous. It really is. It's outrageous. It is, Tom. But, hey, you're great. First time. Glad to talk to you. And this guy, he's, he's crap. He really is. Thank you, Jess. That's why I'm single, Tom. <laughs> I understand. Five, but have a good day, Tom. You, too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Heath on the Tom Likas show. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Is it Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes. All right, hold on, please. Show at 1 800 5800 Tom Heath on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. Good. This is uh, this Heath. I'm calling United States Navy. Hey, I got a way to help a guy out. What's that? How about he join my Navy? Uh, I, you know, a lot of guys, that's what they do. Yeah, he should, he should man up and be a man and come join my United States Navy. Well, I understand, and that's how a lot of guys get in. Of course, that means his wife and his kid will be uh, a lot of the time left behind on their own to fend for themselves. Yeah, I, just, I don't understand. It, it just really makes me sick of my stomach, just like all the other calls. Me and my buddy are actually driving around right now about to go pick up some applicants. But, you know, it's just funny that he can't provide for his family that, but at a young age, he wanted to lay down and, and make babies and stuff, and he knew what his situation was. Right. It just it kills me, it really does. But you know, we we, we really want to help out. So if he's listening, we really want him to come by his nearest uh, Navy recruiting station. Yep. Yeah. All right, uh, Joe. That's where you got to go. Go down there and sign up. For God's sake, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Hi right, Chris. Oh man. I'm shaking. This guy pisses me off so bad. I know. Listen, I've been. I'm a taxi driver in L.A., the beautiful city of L.A. I think I'm one of. Um, I think there's only three of us American cab drivers here, and I bust my butt. I bust my ass. No hell, no. I don't feel sorry for this guy. Oh my god, I've been wanting to call every once in a while, but this guy made me call. You know, I work 13, 14 hours a day driving this cab in our beautiful city, fighting traffic. Dealing with people that don't know how to drive. And this guy, what the hell? And actually, the people that stand out on the you know the freeway ramp, I got a hell of a lot more respect for them than him because they're out actually trying to make a living, you know? They're trying they're to do something, doing. yeah. I mean, they're better than him. Even they're better than him. And I, I am one of the guys who give them money because I can't help it. I just feel like I should. And um, anyway, this guy, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here right in front of Union Station right now waiting to, you know, give somebody a ride somewhere. 13, 14 hours a day sometimes. This guy, oh, he's, he's a disgusting example of an American. No, bye, bye. I'll oh. tell you what pisses me off, too. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.